Hi, I'm Gerd Tundel, acclaimed health journalist, turned motivational speaker, and transformational coach. This show is for anyone who wants to lead a happier, healthier, and inspired life. Create more self-love, inject more joy and abundance into their daily life. Join me for inspiring interviews and spiritual topics so you can become a soul warrior. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Get Inspired with Gerds podcast. I'm your host and today I have a beautiful soul on the guest who I just fell in love with from the moment I interviewed her last time. She's an amazing soul. The work that she do is just absolutely out of this world and just the way she sees life and the way she helps her clients. It's just so beautiful. I just love her. (laughs) Um, We had her on the show a few months ago and the work that she does is just so powerful and I really want people to understand some of the things that Heather will be saying today because a lot of us don't realise where a lot of our health problems come from and Heather just has so much knowledge and expertise in this area. And for a quick reminder for anyone who missed that show, her name is Heather Dane. She is a health coach and 21st century medicine woman who combines ancient wisdom from her Native American lineage with holistic health and nutrition. She's co-authored two books with Louise Hay, Loving Yourself to Great Health and The Bone Broth Secret, which is just absolutely amazing. Heather also has a Hay House radio show, Loving Yourself to Great Health, and she believes we can all heal from the inside out. Heather, it's an absolute pleasure having you on the show again, and thank you for joining us. I'm so happy to be here, Gerds. Uh, another opportunity for us to have fun talking about health. <laughs> oh, bless <laughs> you. I, I absolutely loved our interview last time, and it was just amazing. And like listening about your story, how you transformed your life. You know, I love talking about the bone broth secret and how you're helping people. So Like the way I kind of see it, like a lot of the listeners were calling in saying, give us more about Heather, tell us more. (laughs) (laughs) And one of the things that I just, I would love for you to talk about is Indigenous healing secrets and how the listeners can kind of tap into this. Okay. I think it's a a great question. And I actually, um, I, I think we may have talked about my Native American background in our first conversation. Um, I am Haudenosaunee, which is Iroquois. People know it better as the Iroquois Confederacy. I am Oneida Nation, and I am a member of the Wolf Clan. And mm-hmm. I uh, I grew up, I'm second generation off the reservation, so I did not grow up steeped in my culture. But I grew up with some of my culture, and I grew up um, visiting my cousins who did grow up in the culture. So I got a little bit of knowledge and understanding. And I think the biggest thing that I got growing up was as I listened to the stories told by my relatives, I would, I was really developing a, a different mindset about health and healing. Uh, food is medicine, uh, nature uh, that we, we believe that nature is our relative. And so we talk about grandmother moon and mother earth and elder brother, son, and every, every plant, every animal, everything that has been created has a voice, a meaning, and a power. And so there was always this feeling of having a a deep relationship with everything around me because of what I learned from my relatives. And Mm. we talked in the last discussion about how early on I had quite a few health issues. And my great, my grandmother had type one diabetes and diabetes is very prevalent in indigenous populations, particularly native Americans after they went off their native diets and started eating what they call a colonized diet, which is really just the diet that came into play when they were put on to reservations and, and their hunter gatherer ways of eating were sort of taken away from them. Their culture was mm-hmm. taken away from them. Many native Americans were put into boarding schools to, to become uh, Christian and to cut their hair and to take their culture and their language and their names mm-hmm. away from them. And so there was a lot of loss of their, their, their indigenous knowledge and their ways and their culture Mm. that really kept them healthy and grounded. And when they began eating these processed foods Mm. that had nothing to do with the foods that they grew and hunted and ate, their health started to go downhill. And I think it was more than just losing their food. It was losing the connection to the earth and losing the connection to community and their culture. We know today from studies like in scientific American, they did a study that showed that healing, that rituals are healing. 
So our rituals that we all mm-hmm. have in our backgrounds, the things that our ancestors did have a healing quality. And any of us who take part in those rituals have an opportunity to experience that healing. And we know from neuroscience and psychology that stories aid healing. And there was a lot of, in indigenous cultures, stories being passed down. It was really an oral history. And there was a lot of stories and story is metaphor. Recently, somebody said to me that before um, before the Europeans came to the United States, a squirrel could hop from tree to tree from one coast to the other. Oh. And when you think about what that means, you think that how many trees were there? There were a lot of trees. Wow. And, and it brings a visual to mind about what it might have looked like before we started um, cutting them all down and creating cities and things like that. And I, I think that story brings...